we need to have a strong regulation. We need to have capacity development for our law enforcement agents so that they'll be able to do a lot of uh, threat intelligence, to be able to track all these cyber criminals and be able to apprehend them and bring them to book. But it takes a lot of efforts on the part of government, on the part of um, organizations as well. They need to also tighten their security. Remy, when all is said and done, humans are still the weakest links. What should organizations do to prevent breaches that are called through their employees? The advice is for us to be at alert from time to time, because most of the time, you know, for example, the one I mentioned regarding uh, business email compromise, it is an employee that will just click on a link and download malware on the system. So if it doesn't look genuine, it is not genuine. Think twice before you click, and that's what we are advocating with Stop Think Connect. Stop, think before you connect to the internet. In the next few days, Europe's GDPR will come into effect. Do you think that Nigeria needs its own data privacy law? Absolutely. We have been advocating this for a very long time. GDPR is a very good leg legislation that the uh, European Union is coming up with to protect the data, personal data of their citizens. It's about time that Nigeria enacts its own uh, data pro protection and uh, privacy law to guarantee the protection of the data of Nigerian citizens. And this will go a long way to protect the misuse of um, data. For example, we all know about uh, Cambridge Analytical, what happened with um, targeting of 2015 election with the use of uh, Facebook. So if we have a strong data protection law in place, we'll be able to protect our citizens from uh, data breaches. And if it happens, it's the onus is on the organization to, to report the breaches. The influence of cloud keeps growing. How can organizations prevent cloud-based breaches, especially when the platform owners do not offer 100% guarantees? Now, it is quite important because the whole world is moving towards cloud now and we cannot really escape it. So the onus is on uh, individual organizations to do their due diligence. Before you move your data into the cloud, you need assurance from the cloud provider and ensure that necessary security controls are in place. You do what we call a third party security assessment of the cloud provider and get to know the kind of uh, security they have in place. We, we cannot guarantee 100% of um, no breaches, but whenever there is a breach, there is a need for them to notify you as quickly as possible. Their incident response should be top notch. So these are the things that you know, organizations need to consider when moving into the cloud. Finally, Remy, what is your association doing to ensure that the Nigerian cyberspace is secure and safe? As an association and as a non-for-profit uh, organization, Cybersecurity Association of Nigeria has partnered with um, Stop Team Connect to campaign about security awareness. We have been trying from time to time to go to secondary schools, university, target the youth, because we know the majority population of Nigeria is the youth. Target them, tell them about how to be safe and secure online, and they should be able to share with care. We have come up with a lot of slogans, a lot of uh, native slogans like uh, no fall maga, shine your eye for internet, and so on and so forth. These are our only two ways of contributing to make a uh, Nigeria cyberspace uh, is, is safe and secure environment. Thank you for being on the show today. Always a pleasure. That was the president of the Cybersecurity Experts Association of Nigeria, Remy Afon. And as I've heard from him, we need to do more to secure our cyberspace. Remy argues that we need a data privacy law separate from the cybercrime law, which experts say is inadequate. That said, I am of the opinion that cybersecurity is everyone's business, irrespective of a profession, because just about anyone can become a victim. Here's one reality we should all have at the back of our minds. Hackers and cyber criminals are smart, patient, and they come up with new types of attacks on an ongoing basis. That's our show for today. But the conversation continues online. Please follow us on social media. 
this edition as well as previous ones can be seen on the channel's TV YouTube account or via my blog cfatech.ng. For Tech Trends, I'm Chukomeka Agbata.